May is coming to an end and so is the regular season for high school sports. In Colchester today, St. Johnsbury softball visits the Lakers in the last contest before playoffs. Senior day for this CHS squad, they honor three of them and also make sure to recognize the Hilltop seniors as well. Nice gesture, but St. Johnsbury wastes no time in the first. Maya Rutledge smacks a slow roller up the middle and Delaney Rankin motors home from second base. St. Jay takes a quick 2-0 lead. Later in the inning, Taryn Tremblay pops a shot over the dirt and sends Izzy Marceau around to score. Hilltoppers are up 3-0. On the mound, Delaney Rankin makes quick work of the Lakers in the bottom of the frame, sitting down the side and keeping the Hilltoppers on top. Fast forward to the third, St. Jay is up 3-1. Destiny Callahan stings one to right field and closes the lead to just one run. But with the chance to tie, Rankin catches her batter looking and St. Jay hangs on to win 10-7. Let's throw it over to the Colchester baseball team. Same matchup for the second meeting of the season between the Lakers and Hilltoppers. Fifth inning, St. Jay is out to a 3-0 lead, but Nate Lamphere rips one past the shortstop. Colby Fane Cushing runs to third, and the Lakers are threatening. Later in the inning, two outs for Tyler Daniels. He chops one hard. The third baseman can't quite handle it. The run scores, and the inning continues in a 3-1 ball game. The next batter walks, and now with bases loaded, Saul Manaya clears them, absolutely smoking a shot to left field. And CHS takes the lead on a three-run triple. Then Justin Dottilio grounds one to short. But on the throw, the first baseman drops it off the hop. Manaya scores and the Lakers go up 5-3. Then on defense, Colchester keeps the big plays coming. A pop-up falls in no man's land, but Chase Carey picks it up and hoses the runner at home. Point blank throw as the Lakers rally to victory with some solid defense and win it 5-3. Well, the state tournament is around the corner for lacrosse teams as well. And this afternoon, BFA and Rice Boys Lacs each hope to pick up one last W before playoff seedings are released next week. And both teams are coming off very narrow losses. The Bob Whites and Green Knights suffered one goal losses in their last game, so both are hungry for a win today. Rice leads 3-zip in the first quarter. BFA's Matt Kennedy loses the ball and his stick, but Seamus Pickner scoops it up and scores on a ferocious feed. And Bob Whites now have some momentum and they use it. Noah Vincelletti cuts in, ends up all alone for the finish. BFA trails 3-2. Then with the quarter winding down, Nate Laughlin dangles and dazzles, finding the back of the net, and he ties the game at three. Second quarter, BFA takes the lead as Caleb Norris rattles one off the iron and in. Bob White's jump ahead 4-3. An impressive comeback, now the Knights respond. Oliver Guigno sends that one for a ride. Straight into the twine. Rice ties it 4-all. And then the two teams started trading goals, but eventually BFA pulled ahead and locks down a 16-9 win over Rice.